Now let's watch a dissection of the anterior gluteal region on a cadaver. First, let's remove the superficial fascia and skin. You will need to orient yourself to see the iliac crest anteriorly. You will begin to see the origin of the hamstrings more inferior and the iliac crest will be superior. The gluteus maximus is now taking up most of our field of view, with a portion of the gluteus medius appearing. You will now be cutting the gluteus maximus again and be sure to avoid the neuromuscular vasculature that will be passing through the gluteal nerves. Now cut through the medial attachments of the gluteus maximus just off the midline of the sacrum. Next cut the attachments to the iliac crest so that the gluteus maximus can be reflected laterally. Now reflected, you will see the gluteus medius along with a number of strap muscles which are mostly lateral rotators. Note the sacrotuberous ligament here is an important landmark running from the sacrum out to the ischial tuberosity. In order to view the last of the gluteal muscles, you will need to again reflect the gluteus medius and making a midline incision, remove it from the iliac crest. Now with the gluteus medius fully exposed, we can now see all of the muscles in the gluteal region. Running from superior to inferior, we have gluteus minimus, piriformis as it emerges out of the greater sciatic foramen, superior gemellus, obturator internus tendon, and finally inferior gemellus. Note that these three muscles together form the triceps coxae, and all three form a common tendon. Note that both the superior and inferior gemellus insert onto the tendon of the obturator internus muscle. 